In a year defined by unprecedented discovery, compassion, and collaboration, Canada's hospital continued to demonstrate what is possible when science, education, and patient care are united by a single purpose, building a healthier world. The holiday season is a time of reflection, an opportunity to look back on the year's accomplishments and the collective impact of our work. And 2025 has been nothing short of extraordinary. UHN pushed the boundaries of science and clinical care, pioneering breakthroughs that cement Canada's life sciences hub as a destination for the world's best and brightest. In a historic Canadian first, UHN surgeons performed Canada's first heart transplant from a circulatory death donor, broadening the donor pool by as much as 30% and expanding options for patients with advanced heart failure. We were the first Canadian hospital to deliver a promising investigational therapy for type 1 diabetes using lab-grown insulin-producing cells. After one year in the trial, the majority of UHN patients are now insulin-free. On the global front, UHN completed the first international Neuralink brain implant procedures. This enables individuals with quadriplegia to control devices by thought. Milestones that reflect our world-leading surgical and research expertise and offer significant promise for transforming how neurological injury is treated and understood around the world. And in 2025, we launched the ambitious Canada Leads 100 Challenge to recruit 100 world-leading early career scientists. This bold initiative positions UHN and Canada as the destination for exceptional talent whose research has the potential to transform patient care and fuel an innovation economy. The success of the Canada Leads initiative would not have been possible without the generous support of the UHN Foundation and the Princess Margaret Cancer Foundation. And throughout 2025, when UHN needed to take bold action, our foundations answered the call. Together, these milestones highlight the profound impact of philanthropy in accelerating discovery, improving care, and shaping the future of Canada's hospital. And to reflect this extraordinary global leadership, we refresh the UHM brand. Bold blue and distinctive red. Patients are at the heart of everything we do at UHN. This year, we were proud to celebrate 10 years of the UHN Patient Partner Program. Their perspectives influence our approach to care, directly shaping decision-making and enhancing care and safety for all patients at UHN. At Toronto Western Hospital, construction on the new patient tower hit a milestone. It's now rising up out of the ground on its way to 15 stories with 20 new operating rooms and 82 private patient rooms. The new tower is on track to open in 2028. At UHN, we continue to shape world-class learning experiences that prepare the next generation of clinicians and scientists to push the boundary of what's possible. This year, the Michener Institute of Education at UHN graduated its first cohort of community health and social medicine workers, many of whom have lived experiences not unlike the clients they now serve. We also deepened our essential collaboration with CAMH, strengthening the connection between brain health, mental health, and physical health across our two organizations. Together, we are building more seamless pathways for patients who need coordinated care and driving joint research in neuroscience and mental health that recognizes how profoundly these conditions shape one another. And finally, in 2025, UHN was again honored to be ranked among the best on the planet, setting the standard for excellence in patient care, education, and research. Once again this year, Toronto General Hospital was named the top publicly funded hospital in the world and ranked number three hospital after Mayo Clinic and Cleveland Clinic. The Princess Margaret Cancer Centre was ranked by Newsweek as Canada's number one specialized oncology hospital. The Toronto Western Hospital was ranked among Canada's top 10 for the second consecutive year. And for the 15th consecutive year, UHN was ranked the top research hospital in Canada. This consistent leadership reflects our dedication to scientific research from fundamental discoveries at the bench to clinical innovation at the bedside. As we reflect on this extraordinary year, I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our patients and families. 
thank you for placing your trust in us, for allowing us the privilege of caring for you, walking alongside you and learning from your strength. You are at the very center of everything we do. To our donors and partners at the UHN Foundation and the Princess Margaret Cancer Foundation, thank you for believing in our mission and investing in the future of healthcare. To our government partners, thank you for your commitment to advancing innovation and excellence. At UHN, everything begins with our people. Our mission to transform lives through care, discovery and learning is only possible because of Team UHN. The individuals whose expertise, compassion and commitment define Cannabis Hospital. They symbolize the pride we take as Canadian trailblazers and the promise we make to everyone we serve that excellence is not just what we strive for, it's who we are. Every achievement of this past year belongs to you. Together, we are Canada's hospital, and together, we are building a healthier world. Here's to an even brighter 2026.